Welcome to Elf Centered. Today we're doing another body talk segment. Before we start, a little admission. A lot of people don't know this because it's my life and I don't always need to share things. But I've spent a couple of decades dealing with handling being clinically depressed. I've also had doctors and other specialists recommend that I go get checked out for a couple of different things. I haven't, and I'm not going to. I have done the pharmaceutical route. I have gone to therapists. And there are people that that works for, and that's awesome. That's fantastic. A lot of why we do this is because we're not able to control things in our life. We're not able to handle stuff that is coming at us. What you can control, what you can't handle, is you. Dressing for success. How do you define success? Is it the money in your bank account? Is it the car you drive, the place you live, the things you surround yourself in your living room, your computer, your games, your TV? Or is it your friends, the people that you know and hang out with? Is it your mood? Are you content, satisfied, happy? Is it how you've lived your life? They say that true wealth is not gold, it's the people that you know. I'm an extremely wealthy man. I have a large number of fantastic, awesome friends, intelligent, fun people, and they call me their friend. You've likely heard, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Why not dress for the mood you want, not the mood you have? Is it difficult to change? Yes. But you learn a few things, it can become quite simple. Change involves generally three things. First of all, the desire to change. To know what you want to change. Secondly, a goal. I want to, you know. The third thing is the willpower. Change is as difficult as kicking addictive behavior like quitting smoking or gambling or drinking. And mood can be addictive behavior. You put yourself in a box. You know what? I'm not content. I'm not happy today because I'm always not happy. Things are happening I can't control and this upsets me. Pampering yourself, and dressing is part of this, is focusing on you. It's putting your energy, your time, your attention into yourself. And gents, never underestimate the power of a good bath. Bubbles are optional. I tend to like to lounge for a half hour to an hour with a good book. Play the music you like. Classical, jazz, rock and roll, heavy metal, whatever makes you feel good. Suit sales over the last decade or so are up in North America as much as 600% in some cities. There are a couple of reasons for this. First of all, believe it or not, boy bands. They're wearing suits on stage and during their shows and their male fans are following suit. Yeah, sorry. It's a way of rebelling against the slack parents who worked at home and so dressed in old jeans, a sweatshirt, and flip-flops. Or working in a call center or a place that doesn't have a dress code where who cares what you look like? And that's the thing, who cares? If they don't care, how can you care? We used to dress up for work. A lot of places still do. We used to dress up for parties and get-togethers, picnics, going out. We dressed up for travel, to get on a plane or a train. We used to dress up for shows. I went to see John Malkovich in Toronto, invited by a young lady a number of years ago. And I did the, I dressed up. Top hat, tie, tailcoat, walking stick. During intermission, we went outside for a cigarette and I was approached not once, but quite a number of times by people of various ages, singly and in small groups, to thank me for dressing up. You see, if you look good, not only do you feel good, but others feel good, and they approach you with 
a different attitude, a, a, a different perception. Response for others, and some of it is uh, socially programmed, some of it is just out of the enjoyment, they offer more respect and politeness because of what they see. It also works for the ladies. It's not gender-based at all. I know a number of young ladies who could really rock a suit, particularly a dark pinstripe three-piece with a fedora. If you haven't seen the TV show, you've probably seen a number of the memes. Yeah, it's got to do with bro culture, which I do not support in any way, shape, or form. But they got something right. Suit up. You'll present better. You'll be responded to better. You'll feel better. Pepper yourself. Make yourself look amazing, according to what you think is amazing. Go out there and have fun. Have an adventurous day.